So let's open this up and see what's going on with it. Now I can't show you while I'm opening it up because they have a sticker with the dude's name on the bottom of it. It sure has been an adventure watching the Lewis Real Estate Channel. Uh, it's going to be an adventure signing because that's the thing. I think that all of the stress ends once I find a place and sign it. But the reality is that that's actually when the stress begins because now the stress then becomes ensuring that the place is built properly, finding a proper architect, finding a proper contractor, finding a proper electrician, finding a proper storefront person, finding a proper HVAC person, making sure they all do the job that they are supposed to be doing. And if anybody out there watching just so happens to have a way to kind of hack around that whole T2 chip messery, it would be highly appreciated if you'd uh, drop me a line. Or if any of you have sources for CPUs for the new A1932s, because I imagine we're going to be seeing a lot of them, the A1534 CPUs, I'm at least able to find in, you know, in, in crappy, crappy vendors have them, but at least they're, they exist. You've asked four questions regarding asking a question. Post your question. Um, I'm, isn't a contractor supposed to take care of most of the renovation work? Yes, but you have to make sure that the contractor is not screwing you over, and that in and of itself is a job. Why are you fixated on staying in New York? In, with a... Inside of the 10000 or 45000 per month little island of New York for your business. Why not go somewhere else? Because most of my profitable customers are here. And right now, I have tens of dozens of people every 15, 20 minutes running in with stuff that's broken, wanting it fixed. Whereas if I move, uh, for example, so let's just take a, let me, let me try to answer this. So let's say I were to search for a term like MacBook Repair New York on Google. Now, what shows up when you search for that? Uh, that's an ad. Fuck that. Nobody reads ads. Oh, look, the first result, the Rossman Group with 4.9 stars, the best rating out of 613 reviews. You're never going to find something with that many reviews in the city that has 4.9 stars. We click Yelp for it. Uh, Yelp. Oh, look, again, I show up again on Google. Oh, look, I show up a fucking again on Google. I show up one, two, three times on the same page. That, that, that's insane. Like, I, I own the city. Like New York, okay, you, ha you have this place that shows up on Yelp. I don't expect to have good sh results on Yelp as a result of my, uh, my videos on them. Even with that, look, I'm number four on Yelp. I used to be number one on Yelp, by the way, for this. It just happened to have gone down coincidentally when that, around the time that the documentary came out. But like, the thing is, I have a customer base here. That, and, and you know how long it takes to build that up? It took me like six months to a year to get to the point where for basic terms, not even MacBook repair. That took a long time. MacBook, screen, MacBook A1181 screen repair in New York. It took like six months to get between number three to six on Google for that. And then you have to get on Google for all those really specific terms until so you can slowly get onto Google for the very broad terms. Like being able to show up top for MacBook repair without a specific thing that's wrong with it, that's, that's difficult. And, uh, you know, I have, I, I've been building up a customer base for 10 and a half to 11 years. And if I moved, I'd be starting from scratch. And that would be bullshit. I mean, literally starting from scratch at the uh, bottom wage, bottom pay. And I don't really want to do that. Living in New York, New York sucks. But New York does not suck as much as starting over from scratch with no income somewhere else. And no employees as well. Like, you know, if I, if, look, look, look at the quality people that we've got here. Paul, am I going to leave Paul behind to go somewhere else? Or Steve or all the people that work here? Just tell them to go F themselves and go get a job at fixing Teslas or something. Paul used to fix cars before he started working here. Do you want me to make Paul go back to fixing cars? Teslas? Because the new cars are electric. You want to work on Teslas and smart cars and Nissan Leafs? You asshole. Trying to get everybody here fired with your questions. But let's go back to this. So it's taking 5.2 volts. Now I have disconnected the battery because I don't want to see how much uh, power the battery is drawing just the board because the battery is not going to be a constant. If the battery was at 3%, it's going to draw a different amount than if it's at 99%. And I don't know what the percentage of the battery is because the machine doesn't turn on. So I don't want to have this in the mix. I only want to see how much power the board is taking. And it looks like we are at 5.2 volts drawing 20 milliamps. That means that the CD3215s, which are going to allow the charger to speak to the computer, are either not on or not doing their job properly. So let's take the board out of the case and try and figure out what's going on here. So we're stuck at 10 milliamps. So the CD3215s appear to be doing their job. So we, now we have to kind of open up the schematic in the board view for this. This, I believe, is one of the... Let's see, where was it? No, this is A20-00840. The first word we're going to check is PP bus G3 hot. 
Usually it's pp3v3 underscore g3hot, but I know that it's present because we have power, uh, we have 20 volts coming out of the charger. So we're going to check our pp bus. And pp bus appear. Paul, are you doing your job? Always. Paul, you're doing your job? Always. You're, you said you're always doing your job. Always. You're always doing your job. Always. Zalma, when was the last time you were turned on, little Zalma? That's not my job. Hey. That's not my job. That is that is Paul's job. That is not my job. We're gonna have a vote. Daniel's job. Let's have a vote in chat. How many people say that Paul's no, job no, is the Zabo? No, 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 no. Where's it? I'm gonna cover no. no. You're not gonna turn it off again? How I'm many people say that right Zabo is Paul's job? I have a UPS. <laughs> is your camera on the UPS? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I prepared for this moment. Okay, so let's see. What are the results we have here? Mario says, yes, Paul's job. NPC says, yes, Paul's job. Uh, Andrew says, yes, Paul's job. Aaron says, Anel's job. Okay, so you have one no, three yeses. Joe says, yes, Paul's job. Zafar says, yes, Paul's job. Kim Jong Skill says, yes. James Ramirez says, yes. Serge says, Paul equals Zalmo operator. That's close enough to Zalmo. Okay. Vinny raises his hand, yes. Russ says, yes. Thomas Moreau says, give Paul a raise. You, sh you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he said give give you a raise, but he didn't say it's not your job. Not my job. All right, we'll give you a nickel. What nickel for Zab? Is it wait? Okay, here we go. Slandies, man. No Zama isn't Paul's job supposed to be repairing iPads? When do you sign in the lease? When my attorney reads it and says that it's good. Paul is Zaomao Sensei, says Stephen Garcia, for $1.99. Can we count that as Paul's raise? Yeah, this is overwhelmingly yes. Democracy has spoken. Democracy is such a shit system. If everybody in the chat votes that you have to fix iPads that operate as Zaomao, they outvote you. So that just means that that's the way it works. How do we ever come up with democracy? This is such a shit system. Like, really? Your middle finger means nothing. You're outvoted. You have one vote. And they all have one vote. But they get to vote on you. Ladies and gentlemen, democracy. All right. But back to what we're, <laughs> what we're looking at over here. So we know that we have pp3v3 underscore g3 hot. The way that I know that I have pp3v3 underscore g3 hot is because this is the rail that's required for these two chips to work over here, that goes to these two chips, as you can see, through R3000. And this chip is the chip that is going to allow our charger to speak to the machine and eventually negotiate getting 20 volts out of it. See this over here? So you have PP3V3 underscore G3 hot. PP3V3 underscore G3 hot is present. Now, where is PP bus? Where is PP bus? Missing. That's the next rail that we're supposed to look at. So, how are we going to figure this out? What are we going to do? Well, great question. Shocking! 0.7 ohms to ground on PP bus. So let's see if there's any obvious short to ground, something that looks really nasty. Like a shorted tantalum cap. Also known as a capacitor. That is fair. I just got a 91932 that randomly was brain dead, and the CPU was keeping the CD3215s from working. Come on. Yeah, but that was quick and easy. You, you just gave up on it. That's not... It, it didn't tease you for three hours thinking you were going to get it to work. I don't allow it to tease me, Paul. It's the same as when I go to the gym and they have all those newfangled gym outfits and all these women. Like, I don't stare and go, Oh, but there's a boyfriend. It's like, nope. Nope, you get no mind from me. You don't exist to me. I, got, I have my discipline. I will not get teased. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, ho, ho, ho. No. You MOSFET next to CPU. That's not fair. No. That's bullshit. What do you do? 
Let's see what this little MOSFET is for. I was hoping that you would be Tentaclum Cap. PP1V S5G. What's S5G? Ah, some power rail for the CPU. And you're exploded. CPU memory or something, isn't it? PP1V S5G. Ugh. You know, it's probably not the t it's probably not the top one that was shorted. It's probably the bottom one in that dual MOSFET package. Because if it was the top one that was shorted, my CPU got 12 or 13 volts. But if it's the bottom one that shorted, my CPU got zero volts. Got shorted to ground. I believe that I got. Z I believe that this MOSFET is probably just going to be the bottom one in that package, not the top one in that package that's causing the problem. Let's go. I want to rip this thing off the moment it gets warm. I don't want to heat the CPU any more than is absolutely necessary. Let's go. Let's go. All right. And immediately cool off the board with rapid cool technology all these chips on these other boards are mm, yeah that they're not they were not taken off very nicely Jess, I'm really proud of you for giving up the Diet Coke like that. Good job. You're an inspiration. I'm genuinely proud of you, Jessa. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. You're doing something good for your body and for yourself. At least I can wipe my own, says Kopez. <laughs> All right, now what do you guys think the chances are that the CPU got 12 volts and is just dead? Yeah, I got some balls there. You see that? Those solder balls are popping out right next to the CPU from my, my chip, and I trust that they're not going to run under the CPU because those solder balls know better. They are not running under that CPU. Hell no. My board, my rules. Okay, now I got some rapid cooled, rapid cooled technology. But I'm gonna make one last check that my short is gone because yesterday taught me a lesson on being an idiot. All right. Short is gone. Fuse is good. PP bus fuse is good. Okay, so we're gonna plug this in and let's see if it starts posting. Five volts. Twenty volts. 80 milliamps, 10 milliamps, 4 milliamps, 40 milliamps, 1 mil. Oh. <laughs> You're fucking dead, aren't you? Is PP Bus back? PP Bus is back and happy. Yeah, CPU got 12 volts. So what happened with that machine is that if you take a look at the schematic in the board view, this transistor blew up over here. Now the way a buck converter works is you have 12 volts PP bus G3 hot up here. 12 volts comes into this transistor. Now this transistor is going to turn on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, on off, on off, on off, on off. So instead of having a straight up 12 volts, you're going to have 12, 0, 12, 0, 12, 0. A little bit of 12. A lot of zero. 
a little bit of 12, a lot of zero. And that's going to average out into about 1.5 or 1.7 volts, somewhere around there, for the CPU. Now, if you take a look, there's a coil over here, and there's also going to be a bunch of capacitors to ground on the output so that you get your, your voltage to your CPU, and it's nice and steady rather than being stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. You know, you just kind of want a nice gentle push that's constant rather than a punch in the face and then ignoring you for 10 seconds. So the thing here is that when this transistor blew up, what it did is it sent 13 volts to the end constantly. It was just, it was, when this died, it most likely just said instead of it's little spikes of 13, I'm just going to send a straight up 13 regularly. And if you take a look on the board view, you'll see that that goes straight to the, the, the CPU. So this is a board that I'm not going to put a bunch of time or effort into because finding CPUs for these is really hard. If we lived in a world where I could just go to Newegg.com and buy a BGA CPU and it was actually good, I would. But we live in a world with the, you know, the golden chipsets and the CICs from eBay. That's the only place that I can get BGA CPUs. If there was a place where I could easy breezy to say, you know, Here's your hundred or two hundred dollars in exchange. You get you send me a CPU that's not bent or something like that. I would do it, but I don't have those types of contacts. And honestly, if one of you has one of those types of contacts, again, I'm not talking about the golden chipsets and the CICs and all this other blah. I'd be like an honest to god uh, vendor for Intel chipsets where I could actually buy this stuff. I would genuinely enjoy hearing from you. My email is lewis at rossmangroup.com. Two S's, two N's. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you learned something, and uh, if any of you actually are able to reach out and help me get this type of stuff, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh. He's alive! Guy who knows a guy construction corp incorporated. <laughs>